the time, now this was interesting. As soon as we got on the ship, we got this little card with the instructions to set our clocks back one hour to Cartagena time. So they didn't want to have to deal with time change in the middle of the ocean. So when we first got on, they said, change your clocks. And I said, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Our devices, our phones, our watches are all automatically synchronized to whatever cell tower, wherever they're getting their connection from, they automatically set the time. So if you need to change the time manually, I had to figure it out. And I figure I will show you too. First on the Samsung, the Android phone, you go to settings and then I don't know where exactly, so I like to use search. Instead of searching through all the different things, I tap to search and I type time. And it says date and time, okay. And then date and time. What you have to do is you have to turn off automatic date and time. Say, no, nope, don't get the time because right now this says 2.14 which is correct for Florida, but we are supposed to be on Cartagena time. So I have to turn off automatic and set time. And instead of 2.14, it's 1.14 here and done and back out. So now my Android says 114. And same idea on the iPhone, just slightly different screens. So you go to settings and I will once again search for time. Now there's an awful lot of things that come up under time with this, but date and time is what I want. And this one I have already turned off the automatic, but let me show you how it works. I would turn off the automatic and then I would tap on the time and here is where I could change it to whatever it needs to be. Okay, so that is manually changing. And when I change the iPhone's time, my watch instantly matches the iPhone. So that's, that's how that works.